when I use the data we collected at the lab um, to put together kinematics and dynamics, uh, we are going to use the diagram to describe the motion and we are going to use free body diagram to explain the motion. So, this is an opportunity to put together kinematics and dynamics and understand the motion. Uh, so, what I did you saw me take off from the ground, this is just like an airplane taking off on the runway, similar, uh, similar math, similar physics, similar idea. Okay, so, uh, take a look what I did for step 1, you stand up, you stress your hand and you stick it to the wall, just like this, 12 centimeter, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 times 12. Step 1 is 16 bricks above the ground. Now, take a look what I did for step number 2. This is how much I usually crouch before I jump up. You stress your hand and put it over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 times 12. Step number three, let us take a look what I did for step number three. Repeat the step number two, but this time you really send yourself to the ear because you are going to be accelerating, your knee going to be accelerating because you are crouching. So, when you crouch, all right, you are ready to jump up and your knee going to accelerate and look what happened, it is going to send it to the uh, send, send it to the ear and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 times 12. Each bricks is 12 centimeters. That means we are going to have to multiply this one by 12. We are going to have to multiply this one by 12. We are going to have to multiply this one by 12. And this is going to give you 144 centimeters and this one going to give you 192 centimeter and this one going to give you 216 centimeters. All right, now what are you going to do? We are going to find the squat distance or displacement. A squat distance would be y is equal to of course uh, 192 minus 144 and that would be 48 centimeters and 48 centimeter is not as a unit. So, you are going to write y is equal to 0 0.48 meters. Uh, for the jumping height, it is going to be 216 minus 192 and that would be of course, uh, uh, this is I believe uh, 24 centimeters. So, this is 0 0.24 meters. All right, so now I am going to draw a diagram. This is a continuous process, right? All right. So, right here you have, okay. So, this is green and this is red. All right, very nice. Uh, this, green, uh, this green and red is uh, the transition between you are on the ground and you are in the air. So, the location between this green and red, you call it blue, you are neither on the ground nor in the air. You are in transition between air and the ground. You can, you can see it. Uh, if you videotape it in slow motion, this is exactly the same thing happen when a plane takes off from ground. So, you are taking up from the ground the this moment, the transition between the red and the green and there is a blue and that moment you are neither in the air nor in on the ground. And that trans transition we are going to call this one B of course, B for blue. And this we are going to call A, A is you are doing nothing, you are just standing up, your net force is 0. Uh, so, explain the motion uh, quickly. So, you, uh, your net force, your net force right here is 0. So, uh, so I am 80, I am 210 pound. So, uh, this is, uh, uh, I am 200, uh, no I am 190 pound. 
190 pound times pound and kilogram. So one kilogram is uh, uh, 2.2 pound, pound pound cancel. 190 divided by 2.2 is 86.4, but 86 is fine. This is kilogram. So 86 times 10, so 860 Newton. I'm 860 Newton and Fn is 860 Newton. So my net force over here is zero. All right, so this is, uh, right here is Newton's mass law. Okay, nothing is happening. It's also Newton's third law. Okay, anyway. Interesting is this one, right here. Right here, I don't have uh, net force zero. If I do have net force zero, I will never be able to jump, send myself to the air. So that means I have some my arrow, this arrow is bigger than this arrow. Hey, this is, you already know, 860 Newton. And this is, you can find out definitely how. M, G plus A. Uh, G, you already know, A we don't know yet, so you're gonna find out. We're gonna call this one location, uh, we're gonna call this one location A. Location A, we're gonna call this one location B and we're gonna call this one location C. We're gonna draw uh, something. Uh, you don't, uh, you probably don't need to see this anymore. So, uh, so I'm gonna make this space. So this location I'm gonna call A, this location I'm gonna call uh, B, and this location I'm gonna call C. So then velocity at A is zero and velocity at C is zero. And hopefully that makes sense because this is the parabola, right? At the top of the parabola, velocity is zero, of course. And this is the bending knee. All right, at this moment, your knee, this is knee. At this moment, your knee become from bending to straight and you take off at the moment. This is the moment, okay, this is the moment. So this one is probably green, and this one is probably red, uh, uh, red. So at this moment, uh, your knee becomes straight, okay, and you take off from the ground, okay. So then we're gonna have to use uh, this is problem number one, okay? We're done with the problem number one. We find the velocity here, the velocity here. We're gonna find the velocity here in a second. Velocity at B, uh, we're gonna find it in a second. That takes us problem number two. So to find the, pro uh, to answer to question number two, we, we know a lot of things. We know the mass is 86 kilogram. We know Y is uh, uh, 0.48 uh, meter. We know H is 0.24 meter. We know everything, okay. At location, uh, at two, we wanna find the velocity. So VF is squared is equal to VI is squared plus 280. Now, which one are we gonna use? If we wanna use the bent knee, we definitely can use the bent knee, location A, location B, right? We can use this one for A or this one for B. So if I use this one for B and make this one A, right? You can make it zero, of course. So VB squared is equal to zero plus two A and D would be, since we are using bending knee, we have to use point uh, 48. Uh, because this happened, this is Y, point 48, and this is H, point 24. However, there is a problem, you have two variable. So you are forced to use the parabola. So problem two, you're forced to use parabola. Bf square is equal to vi squared plus 280. So you are, you are forced to use the parabola. All right, parabola here, you call it C. So you call it C. Parabola here, you call it B. Right, B. Right here, right here, B. Uh, you call it B. And you need some velocity here, loss of velocity here to send you to the air. All right, so far so good. Now, 
C is zero. Of course, C is zero. We wrote it many different places. This is zero. Uh, so this is zero is equal to V B squared plus two. We're going to use negative 10 and D is of course uh, 0 0.24, 0 0.24. All right. So V B is equal to 2.2 mil per second. All right. So now we want to draw the diagram for this one. We did. We want to draw the free body diagram now. How many forces acting? Only one. Mg. In fact, Ymg or Fg because hey, you are in the free fall. You are on the free fall. That's right. So this is free fall. Free fall. So this is Newton's second law. All right. So number three. Bf squared is equal to Vi squared plus 280. Now, we're going to use the knee now. This is A and this is again green, this is B. So this B is this one and this is of course the A. Uh, B is 2.2, 2.2 squared is equal to A is 0, we wrote over here is 0. Uh, plus 2, don't write negative 10 is A, you are solving it for and 0.48. So acceleration is 5 mil per second squared. All right, let's draw the free body diagram. Free body diagram here, right here, is over here, we have it. So now we have the velocity over here, so you want to update it, velocity is 2.2 .2 at location B. And location uh, right here, your acceleration is zero. Right here, your acceleration is zero. Uh, well, uh, your, okay, right here, your acceleration is zero, okay. Right there, your acceleration is G, which is negative 10. All right, that acceleration allow you to falling. All right, uh, uh, okay, good. Uh, you lose the initial velocity, which is 2.2, .2 is because uh, this is a V vector. Velocity vector is like this and like this, and velocity is zero, is because this one acceleration is this way. This way, this is acceleration, okay? And velocity is, acceleration is this way, velocity is also this way, okay? And your velocity over here is when you land back, your velocity is negative 2.2. .2. So far, so good. All right, now let's come back over here uh, to do problem number three. We're gonna do problem number three. So problem three, I ask you to find uh, the, uh, the, uh, the net force. Uh, problem two, this is three. Problem four, I ask you to find the net force two different ways. So you're gonna find it two different way. Net forces, net forces, we're gonna use this one. Net forces Fp minus Fg. So this is Mr. Bad is 86, G is 10, and this is plus five. So this is uh, uh, 1290 Newton. So F push is 1290 Newton. So you wanna write F net is 1290 minus Fg is 860. So Fnet is uh, 430 Newton. There is other way to do the Fnet, and that is, of course, uh, F equal ma. So you can do F equal ma, F equal ma. So F is 86 times uh, five, and that's gonna give you also 430 Newton. Now we're gonna solve problem number five. Problem number five ask you what is the app push? This is app G. So app is equal to MA sigma. So you have app push minus FG or just write MG is equal to MA. So this is like an elevator equation, MG plus A. This is you already have over here, all right? So M86, 15, you have 1290, FP is 1290 Newton, okay. 